Hello everybody, me and Mudahar, uh, tired once again, and uh, don't worry, this won't be a normal thing, I don't know, I mean, a lot of people seem to really like the tired version of me, and I, I like it too, you know, it means I can be a little chill and, and play these video games, so once again, we're back with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and we're gonna look at a myth that's like real this time, so a lot of people in the last video talked about the spooky wheelchair, and uh, I figured I might as well show you. I, I played through a bit of the game, all right? Uh, not, not a whole lot. I probably would have been a Lost Venturist if I was playing this constantly, but, you know, I'm tired. I've, I fired up my uh, good old PS2. A lot of people were like, oh, the graphics were fucking weird. Uh, it's, it's the PS2, and it's pretty, pretty expected. If you want graphics, fucking play this on the PC, or at the very least, the original Xbox version. Anyways, we're back with some San Andreas, and oh my fucking god, dude, this is a trippy driving in this game. I love the poppin' over there, his fucking vehicles just evaporate or like fucking distill back into the world. Anyways, we're just we're just driving in, in the wheel in the in the fucking backwoods again. You know what I mean? That's uh, the, the part of San Andreas before San Fierro hits, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna check out the fucking oh my god, this is a race missions. Oh, I. I fucking hate these race missions, I swear to god. There's like this one fucking like river you have to cross and like I always fuck it up, dude. Always. It's like every fucking day that has to happen. Well, we're back over here. We're looking at the uh, spooky, spooky wheelchair that uh, was in San Andreas. And a lot of people reference this to fuck- In fact, I'll talk about the fucking story when I, when I get there, you know what I mean? In the meantime, this is basically driving right now. I'm trying to drive really- I don't even know why I'm trying to drive really fucking carefully, you know? Like, I'm not trying to get into- it's fucking San Andreas, I don't really care. But, uh, out of here, okay, it's by this, like, little, like, town. And may I say one thing about GTA San Andreas, like, this version of San Andreas over, like, fives is, like, let me be honest with everyone here, okay? Like, the small towns in this, I feel like, are a little more fucking detailed than the small towns in five. I feel like they're just added there, but they don't really have their own thing. I don't know. It's, it's like a little thing. I feel like the world in this is so much better than GTA five, like dead fucking shit. What the fuck is this? Holy shit. I have never fucking seen this. Oh my God. Okay. Don't, don't drive into it. Jeez. I have never fucking seen that. Oh my God. Holy shit. Does that clinch my anus? That's a fuck. I didn't. I don't know. There was like a mission marker there. Oh, the more you know. So over here is the spooky, spooky dooky wheelchair. And by the way, I have this. I, I prepped a little before doing this video. Um, not not really, not really prep. I'm just fucking digging out a digging out a good old fashioned uh, cheat code. All right, like fucking you know, on on my computer. This is incredibly un fucking professional. But uh, hold on, wait, actually. No, that's that's the wrong fucking cheat code. Let me just dig out the right one. All right, this, this is gonna totally blow your loads, ladies and gentlemen. Not really. But <laughs> might as well show it to y'all. By the way, I am tired, so if I'm not really peppy, it kind of explains it. But we're doing myth hunting, and I love myth hunting because, to be honest, like I love these classic style videos, and I'm, I'm I was so happy when we did that when I did the video. And a lot of people are like, oh, I remember this shit, and I was like, thank you, you know? It shows that my audience, like, really knows the classic meme world of, uh, of, of you YouTube, you know what I mean? Back when it wasn't, you know, fucking, fucking full of dra drama and all this other, uh, nonsense. But inside here, they got this little shed and shit. It's got this, got this, like, lovely cardboard box with these two wooden crates. It's got these, like, spools. Alright, that's by J. Arthur Cable Company. Ooh. All right, what was that fucking? So it was like cancer written on the bottom. I think it's carcer. That's, that would have been really grim if it had cancer just added there. Or maybe it was like a warning that I gave you cancer. I don't fucking know. But I added the Silent Hill fog, as as you can tell. All right, just because, because because it, it fits better atmospherically. All right, let me just whip out a fucking shotgun in case something spooky. Actually, no shotguns. I don't fucking like. Yeah, I might no, not the right here. Yeah, here, I'll just bring out my Uzi with a with a little weapon skill. But this is the, uh, the fucking wheelchair, ladies and gentlemen. The spooky, spooky wheelchair. Now, this is what they call the rusty wheelchair in San Andreas. And you might be like, oh, wow, you just wasted my fucking time, Mudahar. It's a fucking wheelchair. I would beg to differ, because I actually wasted your time last video. Because I didn't even find Bigfoot or Slenderman or whatever the fucking meme of that video. Uh, you know, if there was anything in the video, it, you never fucking saw it, so... I didn't waste your time as much as that one. That's a that's a that's what they call a scientific factoid, all right? Like a little Vsauce shit. 
So this is the rusty wheelchair. Now a lot of people like the myth story behind this, okay, all right, and this is where you need to get the X Files music in your head. Is this is apparently related to fucking Manhunt for some reason. I don't know why it's related to Manhunt, because I don't know what this would be making a fucking reference to. Like some people are like it's a Pigsy reference, but I'm like, no, it's not really a Pigsy reference. It wouldn't really make any fucking sense, you know what I mean? So clearly this thing is added over here. And nobody knows why the fuck it's even here. Like, you can't, like, push it in here because San Andreas doesn't really have, like, like, object physics and stuff. Like, if this was GTA 5 or even 4, you could, like, maybe, like, move this in. Over here, you can't really do shit. And you can't, you can't fucking whip out your rifle and, like, and, like, shoot it in. No. Like, you're, you're like you know, if we, at if we attach, like, fucking th these many, like, if, if I went in, if I went and fucking went full ISIS mode here and attached, like, 80 million fucking satchel charges... Alright, let me just move away a little. It seems, it seems like a dangerous fucking endeavor to be near. Alright, you just press circle, alright? That shit doesn't move, alright? It's like US military grade shit, you know? It's not... It's not gonna move... ...in the face of explosives, alright? You think a shotgun will do anything, motherfucker? If, if seven satchel charges didn't do shit, a 12-gauger won't really make any impact. So, of course, this wheelchair doesn't move. Now, apparently there's another myth that, like, if you're here at a certain amount of time, which is why I'm waiting, by the way, all right, you might see something spawn in, like fucking Pigsy will show up behind you and molest you to death, but, you know, we're not... Like, obviously, Pigsy isn't fucking showing up, because it's around the time, like, I think it's like 19 to 21, uh, where Pigsy might show up or fucking kill you. Uh, uh, clearly, all right, P Pigsy didn't fucking show up, all right, that's a goddamn lie. All right, but one thing I will do is I will take a photo of it. All right, like, I think... How do you- how do you take a photo in the game? Oh, here it is. Okay, do you wish to save it? Fuck. Yeah, I do. Alright, there we go. We saved it. Uh, there used to be another way people used to fake myths here, by the way, too. Like, what- what you can do in San Andreas, and this is just me breaking off completely. You could hire, like, a Grove Streets gang member. And, like, you could- you could fucking give them the camera. And you could go ahead over here, and, like, people would mod the version on the PC, right? So they could, like get the Leatherface, like, skin mod on CJ, and then it would be like, and they would equip the sh chainsaw, and we'd be like, oh my god, Leatherface spotted, even though that was a bold-faced fucking lie. Alright, easily disproven. Oh my god, those birds are so fucking- those are like the creepiest birds. They have like no body, but they have wings. I feel like if it's anything, that's the motherfucking, like, conspiracy right there, okay? Save the photo. Why the fuck not? Man, could you imagine, like, back then on an 8 megabyte memory card, you could actually save so fucking much, to be honest? But, like, it was, like, over here, where these things would spawn, like, holy fucking shit, actually, if you think about it, like, the inside of this garage has, like, this weird red tinge to it now, what? That's so weird. Why the, why would it have a red lighting tinge? That's, that's interesting, alright? Even going on top of it, there's, like, no secret hidden messages or anything like that. But it's like a really weird area, because like apparently there's a serial killer myth and whatnot, and I don't really know. Maybe, maybe this might be it. Let's go in here. The clucking cock isn't ready. Oh, what? What? Why the fuck would I need a... Why? What do you mean the clucking clock isn't here yet? No, it's... What the fuck? Oh, maybe it's like a time thing, or do I have to dress up as like a clucking bell thing? Or whatever the fuck it is, it seems stupid as shit. But, uh, obviously I covered this in less time than it took me to cover the other video in question. So I'm gonna end this over here, alright? Not really, not really much. You know, we, we looked at all the X-Files nonsense over here. The, the one myth that was actually, like, really, really proven. And if you ever want to know where it is, you just go to the map screen right here. And it's, like, in Palomino Creek, so literally it's above this, like, area. And, uh, it's just above Los Santos. Like, I think you just cut through this tunnel over here. Actually, that would be a really stupid way to go. But, like, it's actually just, like, right over here, like, in this town area. You know, the ammunition pizza store and the rent buyable property. And you go to this little beach area, and if you, you zoom in, or, like, zoom in as much as the map will actually allow you, then, yeah, that's, uh, this is where the ever spooky wheelchair is. And, of course, you know, if you, if you look into the actual, like, uh, like, myth of it, too... Like, again, and I'll look through it again for you, by the way, too. I, I have uh, have some notes that I dug out before doing this. Uh, again, these are videos when I'm really tired, so, uh, you know, don't, don't expect the utmost uh, research and professionalism. Think of these as uh, fucking off-the-cuff investigations, you know what I mean? 
th think of it like that. But I showed you guys another little nostalgic part of me. I used to, again, I used to look up a lot of these videos. Uh, still do for other games. And I'm glad we came across fucking the wheelchair. And again, I proved it to you this time. It's actually fucking real. And yes, it is related exactly to Leatherface. In fact, there is other areas you can go to where apparently they do mention, like, thing, like there's actually dialogue over here in Palomino Creek. So if you walk around in the city, like, in front of me, you can hear the dialogue. Have you seen this disabled person chair moving? And then it's like the response is no, have you? And the other one is neither have I. Bye bye. And then there's more textures apparently on the front wheel and whatnot. Like, uh, if you go, if you wait till 12:30 p.m. in the game, uh, something is over there. But really, there isn't. And trust me, I've tried. There is absolutely fucking nothing over there. Um, but that's really it, ladies and gentlemen. That's, uh, that's, that's the spooky wheelchair over there in this area. And by the way, I have to say, before I end the video, this whole, like, fog in the game it gives it such a Silent Hill vibe. It's not even fucking funny, dude. I have to say, if nothing spawned in this area and I just kept on seeing this dark, spooky shit, like, it would actually scare me later into the night. But that being said, I'm gonna end San Andreas again. One of my favorite games on the PS2 for many reasons. It's stupid shit like this, why this game is one of my favorite games. Like, just, just fucking myth hunting in this game, dude. God damn. It's so nostalgic. But I'm gonna end it over here. We've covered enough. I've rambled on for like 12 fucking minutes. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. Thank you for watching. And I feel relatively tired now. So I'm gonna have to bed. Wish me the sweetest dreams, I guess. Uh, or not. You know, wish me some fucking nightmares, maybe. You know, throw me into PT in my dreams. I don't fucking know. This is me, Mudahar, and uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.